was in the way. No? Was close. He in the way? Close. We all have lucky. He was in the way. <laughs> it was close. I don't know if it was 100%. But. Mm. Oh, that I keep thinking it's like 1 o'clock in the day for some reason. I'm all screwed up on this time. Man, you live here. You didn't even go through a time zone. Yeah, but I've been getting up and get, being down there early. Well, that's true. You're not used to you're not used like to seeing 10. that sun in the, that early in yeah, the day, are you? Here at ten now it's yeah. And I didn't get here a day till four. So I'm all messed up. Well, Efren made a ball. He only he's only got he's really only got uh, two shots: the stripe in the side or the three ball. And I like the stripe in the side. Go into the five. Doesn't want that to go. They want to hit that right. ball pretty sweet, right. huh? Now, if he can get around there for the 13 in the side, in, in the side where he's standing, then he shoots the 11 in the other side. Or if he has to, he shoots this to get on the 13. Right. Just right this one back a couple inches, I think. Yeah, and if he has two cotton, he can draw it back a foot and shoot a half, the shoot the 11 in the same pocket. Right, exactly. Yeah. Which is what he might do. Yeah, I think the angle lays for that. No, no, he's the other No, way. I guess he had enough. Yeah. And now he's got the nice angle. He's going to go 12, 9. 13, 11. Yeah, then the 12. He, oh, yeah, for sure. And then 9. No, he won. He's still he might, right. I think he can draw and miss the one. And draw it just to the rail and railing out for the 12 or, right, the or the 9. Maybe the 9 next. Even that was better. He moved that Sure. Ball. That was like well, a little bit of a blocker. Right. Now the 8 has plenty of access. Yeah. He didn't want to do that. Heck no. You know, he might can spin in between the one and six here. He's going to have to, I think. You, know, I, I, you, can, you can't. Yeah, you, you. I don't think you want to try to hold this up with inside instead could, of the though, left of the three real, ball. I think you can hit it real thin. Yeah. And come straight up. I believe yeah, so. but if you don't at that speed and you roll up near the three, you're going to be hooked. Yeah. I think he's going to do like we're thinking, going between the one and six. And then between the three and the eight. That's, yeah. He wants it to go three more rolls or stop right there. Look at this shot. That's sick. Nice, huh? That was, but he could, that was, even if he overhits it, he's got this eight to side. Right. He hit it perfect right. as it was. As that it was is. like a double field goal position there yeah. through two gaps. But he still was right on the line to go through them balls. You know what I mean? Perfect.
Zwei Stars aus den Philippinen, was auf sie zukommen wird für den Rest des Satzes. Aber ich sag mal, solche Situationen sind sie natürlich gewohnt. Das ist ein ziemlich frontalen Break hier, was äh, meiner Erfahrung nach kann gut gehen, aber die Weiße zu kontrollieren, das ging schon einmal schief im allerersten Frame. Oh, uh, da war die Weiße auf dem Weg ins Loch. Ja. Wenn man, wenn man breakt von der, ein bisschen mehr von der Seite, hat man mehr Kontrolle über, über die weiße Kugel. Ganz frontal ist, ist, ist Ja, ein bisschen von der Seite muss es sein. Also wenn man jetzt den Mittelpunkt betrachtet von, von der Kopflinie, ein bisschen weiter versetzt nach links oder rechts. Weil das Ziel beim Zehnball-Break ist eigentlich, die, die zweite und die dritte Kugel quasi in die Mitteltaschen zu ja. versenken. Das fun funktioniert und aber auch gut, wenn man ganz frontal breakt oder, ja. oder nur eine Ballbreite von, von dem Mittelpunkt äh, entfernt. Aber ja, wie gesagt, die, die weiße Kugel zu kontrollieren ist super schwierig. Von, ja. Ganz von vorne, von, von der Seite ist es ganz einfach eigentlich. Viele Fee hier. Perfekt gespielt von Reyes. Äh, Im Prinzip hat er Frame gelöst mit einem Stoß hier, der, der gar nicht so einfach war. Oh, jetzt wird gezaubert. Ja, aber das ist aber für ihn <lacht> einfacher als ja. normal zu stoßen. <lacht> oh. Oh, oh. Ja, das ging gut. Meinst du, dass das noch gerade okay ist? Er hätte ein bisschen noch mehr ziehen sollen, aber... Stellung 4 ist ja, natürlich eine jetzt Bande. ein Problem. Mal, mal gucken, was... Einfach eine Bande rüber. Sehr gut. Oder drei Banden, natürlich. Der Reyes beherrscht auch drei Band. <lacht> Der war natürlich spitze, weil jetzt ist es, glaube ich, wirklich gelöst. Hat Francesco jetzt eine lange 4. Es können nur Fehler hier zerstören. Der ist ein bisschen gerade hier, aber ein bisschen zurück und die 6 ja, von, von der 6 kommt man automatisch auf die 7. Ich würde sagen, reicht der Nachläufer, 6 rechte Mitteltasche. Oder zu was entscheidet sich er von Reis? Ja. Ja. ja, aber jetzt lässt der Bustamante an der Bande, aber soll ihn nicht stören. Uh, schlechter Kontakt auf die 6, ein Kick, aber ging gut. So, wunderbar gespielt. Damit der Anschlusstreffer für Efren Reyes und Francesco Bustamante. The all important break shot. Let's see if Bustamante is going to uncork his power into this medium speed. And it is legal, but there's no shot on the one. Push out time, you think? Push out time. Let's see what the old masters got in store for this shot. Push out call. It's going down. 
timetable. He knows the one will not pass the seven ball. All the way down, almost on the end rail. If, if I'm Canada, I'm going to take this. I wouldn't dare give this back to the Fred and Django. Well, I'm sure they've got something really, really wicked up their sleeve. <laughs> well, Ephraim probably does. Yeah, he wants to tempt Canada. They're giving him back to him. Ten o'clock. Well. Reset, please. Ephraim didn't waste any time. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. Behind that the nine. It. That'll work. That'll work. Why can't Canada execute that shot? Jay? Well, they can. They just uh, didn't want to try. That took a very delicate touch to do what Efren just did. I guess it just looks easy, huh? Looks easy when he shoots it. <laughs> you see other people shoot shots like that, and the cue ball doesn't go far enough or goes too far. Two rails, Alex is kicking. Behind the one ball. He should hit it okay. That's... Well, once more, a bit of good fortune for Team Canada. They've had several good rolls already. Seems like every time Francisco comes to the table, he's kicking at the balls. You know, one thing about this match, Jay, all the players seem to be here. I mean, look to our right where the player section is. Van Boning, Serge Das. Uh, Vandenberg, Dalmatin, Muratore, Al Shaheen, Mario Hare, they're all here trying to watch these great players. And uh, what, how about that for a reply? They want to see Ephraim, let me tell you. You watch this guy play and you're going to learn something. Reminds me, years ago, all the great players wanted to watch Lasseter play. When he played a match, everybody came out to watch. Luther, Wimpy, Lassiter. And it's that way with Ephraim. Well, that's... He made a good hit, but boy, he gave up a real friendly shot here to Ephraim. Yeah, but there's no angle to get to the two. Eh, Ephraim might create an angle. Might do something. And I think maybe after Lassiter, was it Steve Miserak that the players wanted to learn from? Yeah, but... Nobody, there's nobody like Lasseter until Efren came along. They had garnered, garnered that kind of respect. And you see what there, he did? There, there's, there's just a, an incredible shot. He shot the one ball off the seven and got the cue ball up table for the two. Routine for Efren. And and the thing about about that shot is, maybe a lot of people in the in the audience do not appreciate. The, the creativity in that shot. But the players do. <laughs> the ones that are watching over there. Meanwhile, Django has kind of played an iffy positional play here on the three. I wonder if Bustam, if uh, Reyes can make this three ball. I think he's going to hide the cue ball behind the nine. Let's see. Yeah, he's using the nine as a blocker. No, that's going to come out. That's going to come out. It's not all bad when you leave that kind of distance. Efren's not happy about that shot. He wanted to use the nine as a blocker, and he hit it a little bit too hard. Even the master makes some subtle errors once in a while. the five ball all the way back up table here though I'm not so sure that was an act Efren acted like he was upset about that shot but this is not so easy here for Mr. Pagalion oh he made that look easy that's a good shot from Alex that was a great shot so he had to hit that ball hard to get it across the table where Mora could make this five ball. That's okay. He got a little close to his work here, but 
At least Alex can reach it. He wants to squeeze that six ball and twist it to the left. Well done. Well done. Now, this is going to take some shooting here. Yeah, John's going to have to put a big stroke on this ball. Can he just leave it there and take the big cut? No, that's not what he's going to do on this shot. He wants to come back down table, take short side position. what he did. Perfect. That's what he did. Alex will probably go up and down the table on this shot. I don't think he'll hit it soft. He'll go. Uh, oh my goodness. That's just lost concentration there. Third on force there for Pagolayan. And uh, they're very fortunate that they haven't left anything easier than this. That's the kind of mistakes we saw him making in the first match against Sweden. You like a table length bank here? Is there one on? Yeah, that's that's what he's got. He's banking this ball. He's going to bring the house down if this goes in. Boom. Oh, what a play from Django Bustamante. This guy knows where the pockets are. Settle down, please. If we can make this little nine ball, we're going to have a tie match. And he does. Four all. 